Disaster Day at BCIT is all about hoping for the best but preparing for the worst. We've got about 250 volunteers here on site in Burnaby who are going through the buildings, ensuring that casualties are pulled out and taken to shelter. And it's not just the BCIT community that's responding to this mock disaster. We also have external responders like the Burnaby Fire Department, the RCMP, and St. John Ambulance. We had Vancouver Film School come and dress us up and make us look like we were injured. The idea being that we can make it as real as possible so that if the worst should occur, we'll be prepared here at BCIT. Right now, the event has started and they will start inputting. Uh, we're going to play this real time, no controls. What's your last name? Fountain. We are just going into our first management team briefing. And it's about 8.20, so we're just getting status reports from each of the sites. Next step is we'll, we'll get the updates from each of the different groups, and we'll make determinations on what processes we're going to put in place to support the different responders at the, the sites and whether or not classes are going to continue today. What, what is good to see is that these teams actually, they know what they're expected to do and they very quickly settle into a, a good routine and they start sharing information. That's one of the important parts is that they actually get to go from uh, each of the four uh, section chiefs, share information, and then they share it back up to the EOC director. And at that point, the EOC director will share it with the policy group. And uh, so that all levels of the institute are aware of what's going on in real time. And then they can make uh, decisions on how they're going to actually respond to the event for the next uh, half hour, hour, 24 hours, or 48 hours. What they're simulating today is a, uh, is a uh, freak weather uh, incident, so lots of wind and, uh, and rain and flooding and so on, and associated uh, electrical uh, outages and fires due to uh, the water, electrical shorts. The exercise today, we are evaluating our ability to effectively shelter um, the BCIT community for basic sheltering needs such as food, water, a safe place to shelter. I think we're, that's where yeah, we're at right we now. Yeah, we have psychological help now for the people that are under distress and we're getting the ER team members to eat and drink before they head back out. We've got all the teams out doing search and rescue and we just had our leadership team, our president leadership team coming around and having a look at the different areas because it's really important to have them involved. Uh, support comes from the top, it flows all the way down, which is why we have such a big program. But I just want to say thank you. I know if I could get in a disaster as fast as I can to VCIT, I know it's going to be in great hands and I'm the least bit worried about it. We had uh, the right amount of resources. Uh, so we didn't have too many people that had to do multiple tasks. There wasn't that level of confusion compared to the previous exercise in May. So I think it would be very valuable to perhaps set up some sort of um, responder group to our, our uh, information, uh, especially for our social media group. And today there was a tightness and a flow that is just a big step up from the last time. That's what part of the exercise continually improves. So thank you for the, the time and commitment. I think it worked really well. It demonstrated the uh, proper flow of information. 
from the ground level to the incident command up to the EOC. And we appreciate being part of it. And it's nice to know that in the event of a disaster, we know many of our resources become BCIT. <laughs> well, as this version of Disaster Day at BCIT comes to a close, there are a few outcomes. Of course, we learned that we did a lot of things right and that there are others that we'll have to work on. The important outcome is that we've all gained experience. So should the worst happen, we'll be better prepared.